Hello. Guess where I am? I'm not in San Marcos. I am not in the tantric hotspots of Copenhagen and Arambol. I'm not in Ubud. I'm not in London. I'm in Stockholm. I'm in Sweden. I decided to leave the bubbles of safety and come into the matrix. I, uh, I'm in the integration process. I am covered with self-doubt, full of fear, full of uncertainty because I've left everything behind to pursue one dream, two dreams, three, a few dreams. Basically, how can I integrate back into normal society? I've been away for five years. I've been away discovering the powerful healing arts of Tantra, having my whole body, life, mind, spirit, soul, sex change through Tantra. I also saved my father's life who had a stroke and I just made him cry uh, with the body working techniques that I know and also healed the family traumas by holding space so everyone could talk about their family stories. I come from a very Muslim background, very um, traditional Muslim Bangladeshi background. So I'm very blessed to be walking this earth wherever I wish, mainly the Tantra hospitals because it's super juicy there, uh, and to be myself. But I'm here now. I was just in London um, trying to live the enlightened states that I live in um, because we do live in enlightened states and very much in peak experiences of joy, bliss, orgasm. Also a lot of triggers come up, but you know, you're surrounded by your mates and having incredible sex with the most incredible, powerful superhumans. So you're always gonna heal a lot quicker. And I wanted to do this in London. So I was there for one month, didn't go back into advertising. I didn't go back into any of my old patterns. I tried to stay as tantric as possible giving yoni massages in beautiful posh hotels, having amazing clients, um, having sex magic threesomes with amazing powerful shaktis. Um, I also went to a Bifa Tantra festival to work as a healer there, very profound work, uh, working with amazing women, 50, 60 years old. They've never experienced pleasure in their body, but yet they were able to finally experience pleasure because there was a trained man able to hold space for their transformation. So I feel very blessed and honored that I could do this in Europe. But now the mission is to be here, to try and live the tantric life in a space where pe peanut butter, tahini, coconut oil, ghee, and some other jars cost 50 English pounds. So, um, I will need to make some money here. Um, I'm trying desperately not to run away to San Marcos where a lot of my family are, tantric family. I bought some land there last year. I got a giant avocado tree that I really want to like, you know, tend to the land, but that's me escaping again. I could go to Arambol and start running the temples there again with uh, um, my, um, my business partners, um, you know, very easy for me to do that. Or I could go to Koh Phangan, uh, back home with all my tantric family. But I've been doing that for five years and everything is amazing, but there's a big flaw to the whole tantric bubbles. We migrate from space to space. Our visas only last for one month, two months or three months. Then we have to move and migrate to the next spot. I've been migrating with my people for five years. Um, before that, for another seven years, I was migrating with my other people, which was like the Burning Man, the unicorns, you know. I've been constantly moving and migrating. I can't form deep, lasting, committed relationships longer than a year because we have deep, lasting, amazing relationships where I live with my lovers, but only for one month, two months, five days, however long it is, it's not long enough. So this is why I'm in Sweden, this is why I'm in Stockholm, to fulfill 
this dream. To have babies with two powerful Viking Shaktis during a uh, powerful ritual. I realise that one of them's got to be a Leo. Uh, and Aries would be a good one as well because I just recently found out that uh, Aries have the highest sex drives out of all of the star signs. Um, so yes, this is my mission. I'm now walking to my friend Ronya's house. We're going to do um, some viral content about the, uh, what is it, 25 days of Sexmas, a 25 um, day advent calendar with the Kama Sutra for everyone to get super juicy and sexy during this festive season. So yes, this is me trying to live my life covered in fear, covered in self-doubt. What the fuck am I doing here? Let's just see how it pans out. I mean, look, I've got bags under my eyes, which I've never had before. I've got skin that is shit. This matrix environment, I do not fare well here. I've never had bags under my eyes. But even when I was like a drug addict or an alcoholic. <laughs> we got this, gonna be fine. Yes. Welcome, Welcome to your, your tantric, tantric advent, advent calendar. calendar. Our mission is to find world peace through intimacy. It's a big job that we got. Mm -hmm. And my name is Shafted and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Much more open. Now. Okay, so this is potential house. Bed there, heater there, and a lot of space. It's big. Yesterday I had nothing. I was walking to my friend's house to do a do, do the 25 days of Sexmas, your tantric advent calendar. So this is us working on our sexy tantric advent calendar in a homemade studio. <laughs> We're going to be so rich and successful. <laughs> yes! I was in a house, a flat full of fruit flies. We had no studio. I had literally I had nothing in Stockholm. I had nothing that made Shaf Shaf, which is Yoni Massage Clients, Minimum Free Lovers, Huge White Big Temple, um, play parties on running events and connecting with a, um, a yoga studio to get, teach Tantra. What I'm doing is weird. I've been traveling for five years, giving Yoni massages to beautiful, powerful, strong women, connecting to yoga studios and building huge juicy tribes. I'm just a one man show and I couldn't have done it without the help of everyone that's helped me for the last five years, which is great because I've got a huge tribe and I live in an amazing bubble. I'm in Stockholm with nothing again. <laughs> and yesterday, some weird things happened. Um, I, I was like going, I can't do this. My Manipura is very strong and I'm you know, I'm a survivor. I've done a lot of shit. I've almost died. My stories are outrageous. I've changed the world twice now. Unicorn Tantra, I did it. I'm in the collective consciousness. I've raised a vibration about weird stuff, my hobbies. And yesterday I was like, right, I'm filming. I started to film myself um, because I, I feel like I need to share the struggles of the tantric hustle. And then this film com company messaged me saying we want to film you, so I might not need to hold this camera by myself anymore. <laughs> um, and also, I got this house. <laughs> I just saw a house, a tantric collective in Stockholm. And um, it's, it's, I live in a shed, like potentially. And over there is the ocean. So, and over here, is the house. So potentially, I'm gonna be living with some tantrapreneurs and we're gonna make, do you know what my new mission is? Cause you know, I'm a man of action. I always get shit done. I'm not a fucking hippie and I'm not spiritual. I am shafted in a sacred sexual Jedi and I'm gonna make Stockholm, if my face doesn't fall apart and I don't get loads of bags under my eyes, <laughs> the goddamn matrix. Um, I will make Stockholm the epicenter of Tantra. Things are flowing, almost got everything that's in my mind concrete in this reality. The house over there looks like the house from Goonies. <laughs> so earlier this summer, me and my business partner, we had a business meeting. And our business meetings, we like to vision 
come up with outrageous ideas to create something for the future. And what we did was we got naked in our big, beautiful white villa. We took some ketamine, uh, made our intentions, which is what is our future business going to be? And in this vision, I saw a big white house, like the house out of X Machina, a white glass, very modern, very beautiful. And then it zoomed out, out onto a lake. And then the vision, I saw blue sky and uh, yellow sun rays coming in, which turned into the flag of Sweden. And then I saw this beautiful big institution. I was the Charles Xavier of Tantra. I created a school where people come in to learn the tools I've learned and embodied to overcome mental illness, to overcome depression, anxiety, stress, all of the things that most people have in modern societies due to capitalism. Um, I was a depressive, uh, addicted, alcoholic drug addict and also suffered from extreme loneliness. Overcame it in one year and eight months using tantric practices. Um, all of this I've, I've done in my previous videos. So, this school people come to on the weekend, they learn some very simple techniques, because Tantra is so simple, uh, and then go out there and become more productive in a workplace, and they are able to have more deep committed relationships. I'm polyamorous and I'm a master of amazing, amazing relationships and beautiful threesomes, because three is my magic number, and if people are struggling to have one relationship, I'm having two, three, four relationships, and I'm in harmony, in peace, no drama. So, this is a dream I had. Look where I am. I've just potentially moved into a tantric collective. Um, it's not a big white house by the lake, but I live in a big white shed <laughs> by a lake. It's not a glass house, but I believe, but there's a glass church over there. It's close. The dream is very close. We're going to be running transformative events in the house. It's looking very promising. Obviously, you know, I live a life, I've lived a life of disappointment, so I don't have any expectations because that is the root of all disappointment. So if it happens, if it doesn't happen, that's fine. I always get what I want. Do you know why? Because I take psychedelics, I do rituals and I see visions and I get that stuff from out there that's in here, into here and share it. I pray to Shiva, I pray to, Hanuman, I pray to Hare Krishna, I pray to Lakshmi, I pray, pray to, as Andrew Barnes, one of my teachers and friends said, yeah, baby Jesus is a good one. So I pray to baby Jesus, I pray to Allah. I pray to all of them, but most of all, I share my prayers on Facebook and social media. And people say, ah, oh, Shaft, he's a cool guy. Yeah, I know a house, give him a house. Or here's a retreat center, come and build a retreat center. Check out coralvida.com. Um, so yeah, this isn't like a far-fetched dream or vision on drugs, um, medicines, um, but all my visions are reality. And remember, I worked in advertising for 15, 17 years now. Everything that comes from here gets sold to billions and millions of people. I've worked with Coca-Cola, I've worked with Mercedes. Yes, I've destroyed people's confidence. Now it's time to rebuild their confidence and make everyone feel in love with themselves. This is the dream. It's all happening. It's fucking cold. It's gonna get colder. Winter is here. <laughs> and I'm gonna warm up the hearts and souls of Stockholm. Look how open Stockholm is. They worship lingams. The sign is everywhere. Shaft. <laughs> so I bumped into this guy from Engsbacker and he's been helping me become a citizen at this place. So in Sweden, money doesn't exist. Let's no. get some food without Let's the money that food. without the money that doesn't exist. And basically, you have to have a swish, a bank ID, a, another ID, and basically, to become a citizen, I need to do a bunch of stuff. I'm a Bangladeshi Im immigrant. I've come here to steal your women and steal your jobs. Well, actually, I didn't come here to steal your women because I'm exotic, so women find me attractive. <laughs> You are a sacred sexual Jedi. You are a 
The biggest Tantra festival in Stockholm is happening right now in there. I have the honour of teaching there this weekend. Welcome to Stockholm, you sexy sacred sexual Jedi. Yesterday I was on the panel of What is Tantra? It was brilliant. Um, some of you may not know that I've been struggling with my voice. Uh, trying to be a, a public speaker, getting out there. Uh, a lot of you won't understand that. Um, I'm actually quite shy and secure. Um, I don't give a fuck because um, I'm just saying it on my videos because this is a ba basically the Akashic Records of the digital age. But when I look back, when I'm on Oprah's television show, I'd be able to tell myself, you did it Shaft, this is your progression. So yeah, I was on the uh, Q&A, uh, what is Tantra, what's Tantra done for me? And it's brilliant, can stop talking in fact. I wanted to, <laughs> wanted the microphone all to myself, it's brilliant. Uh, today, I'm about to assist my beautiful uh, man, Daniel Muller, uh, he's a breathwork facilitator, really love his work. Uh, the highlight of yesterday, well, a lot of challenges yesterday, I lost my fucking rail card. Um, a lot of things are fucking up at the moment. Um, but, and I'm not trying to let myself go into a story of, fuck, I'm in cold Stockholm, I could be in St Marcos, I could be in Arambol, I could be in the Tantra Bubbles, this is the Tantra Bubble. Things are taking a little bit slower because I'm in a foreign country trying to make it. I don't have a bank account, I don't have a home. Uh, I've disconnected from everyone because I'm uh, really trying to uh, do the big tantric hustle basically, something I do in every country I go to, uh, to make a, a living, make money, have uh, beautiful amazing connections with beautiful amazing men and women and I just got to do it again here, it's taking longer but it's happening. So yesterday one of the biggest things that happened, obviously you know, one of the teachers at Stockholm Tantra Festival sold out, but that wasn't the big thing. My mate Juan, he is a sacred sexual Jedi. He's trained to be a, an MMA um, person. He has offered to train me. So if anything happens, that's it, that's all I want. I want to get fucking good at martial arts. Um, I want to be really, really good at being a sacred sexual Jedi. Embody the Kama Sutra. Like, my life goals are being achieved. And remember, if I could do something very weird like this, go to a city, and sell my products, which is shafted in, be myself, uh, and hustle really, really hard. I'm, I'm grinding every fucking day to uh, make it in this city and, and not let it get me down. If I could do it, you could do it. Welcome to Stockholm Tantra Festival, and I want to share with you the most powerful mantra in the world. Are you ready? Yeah! I love my life! I love my life! I love my body. I love my body. I love myself. I love myself. I love my life. I love my life. I love my body. I love my body. I love myself. I love my life. I love my life. I love my body. I love my body. I love myself. I love myself. And we love you. I'm about to perform on a main stage, when I say perform, teaching. Check this out. I'll be up there in a minute. Be passionate about their passion. Ah. So that was the Stockholm Tantra Festival. Uh, pretty much my initiation into Stockholm. Remember, I'm on a big tantra castle. I'm trying to find a house uh, to build a community in. I'm trying to find clients, work, connect to a yoga studio so I could be a teacher. Basically, trying to do all the things that I've done for the last five years in Stockholm. It's proven difficult because, you know, I'm a foreigner in a country. Uh, I need to get an ID number, I need to get a bank account, I need to do all these things to make Shaft 
a citizen back into the matrix integration this is what i need remember i haven't cooked for five years or cleaned for five years because i've been in the tantric bubbles uh, or commuted um for you know just for five years so um yesterday was a profound uh, initiation i basically gave well supported my friends in their workshops i held the kissing booth uh kiss a stranger which is a brilliant game uh, and I also held my School of Self Love, which is one of my signature workshops, along with Intro to Goddess Worship. Um, the Stockholm Tantra Festival, it was sold out. 530 people. I was on the main stage, the big arena. Um, I don't identify myself as a facilitator anymore. And I've, I've been in this game for a long time. What I do is a performance. Yes, they will say, don't perform, don't perform. But you're talking to someone who was a dancer since 2001. I've been like running dance workshops since 2001. Like I'm a, I'm a teacher and a performer and I dance in front of hundreds of thousands of people. You know, it's my thing. So what I believe in, and this is why entertainment works as a form of transformation, is if you create such an energy with breath sound and movement and music and dance and like getting people to to cry hysterically laugh hysterically getting people to feel in that entertainment they'll feel emotion they'll feel release and this is why i'm doing what i'm doing i want to be a tantric showman that's it and this should trigger a lot of spiritual hippies and i really want it to happen uh because you know judging me doesn't define anything about me it defines more about you so my work will be on television. Like it's already been on television anyway. So I just want it as a regular feature. Uh, so the tools I've learned to overcome depression, anxiety, mental health, um, stress, addiction, loneliness, I could give for free to everybody. Because if I could achieve all of this in one year and eight months of doing Tantra, and I, then I spent a whole lifetime of being an addict, like. I've suffered so much pain. I've lost so many friends through suicide and addiction. Like I haven't actually had time to process any of my grief um, apart from on Sunday at the Beef of Tantra, uh, the um, Stockholm Tantra Festival where I finally cried. I have no home. So I'm just like roaming the streets doing my videos. Um, but I do have beautiful people that give me beds and allow me to share their house in exchange of a my secret 11 minute workout. Tantra massages, yoni massages, like it doesn't matter, I got skills. I'm like a sexy sadhu moving from house to house in Stockholm, trying to make a difference in people's lives. My mission here is to bring awareness around mental health to Stockholm, bring people together through conscious ways of connecting. I'm doing um, events in Stockholm to get people together during the winter months because this is when most amount of people die in this country so i'm here to be in service to this amazing country and also to find love so i just want to say the top three highlights of yesterday uh before i sign off this uh diaries of a sacred sexual jedi number one after my workshop where it was one of the biggest workshops it was amazing i loved it uh on the main stage i got off and you know just about to leave and then someone said Shaft, you're amazing. We want to give you a gift. We're going to put you in a cinnamon roll. So I just stood in the middle and then everyone <laughs> ran to me and hugged me and held me. And I felt like that moment in Game of Thrones when Daenerys Targaryen um, freed the slaves and they lifted her up. <laughs> and there's this like Aryan white woman being held up by all these, um, you know, colourful slaves. <laughs> I felt like that, but the other way around. I was like the brown person. Uh, with all these beautiful uh, Aryan people <laughs> holding me and supporting me. It's like, oh, that was nice. Number two, um, I cried, finally cried yesterday. Uh, there's not a lot of people that could hold space for me. Uh, I do help a lot of people that process grief around death. Um, I do save a lot of people's lives. People do call me if they're about to kill themselves or anything like that. And I help them through um, their process to come back home to themselves. Um, but there's a few people I didn't see, but they did all pass away and they passed away in some horrific circumstances. So I haven't had time to process that grief. And there's this lovely old woman who got us to sing 
and all the people that needed healing stood in the middle right at the end of the festival and people sang for their healing and once we were healed we were swapped so it was a, a continuous giving and receiving of healing toning music and I just allowed the tears to finally fall out of my face and number three um, I my intentions came true to fall in love and to find clients I love love and the reason why I'm here is to find love and I found my Freya and Elvish Viking Shaktis so everything's good but I also have nothing still so I'm gonna sign off and uh, go and do some more videos with my mate, my mission. Well, in fact, I'm gonna show you my focus board. This is my focus board. This is what I need to concentrate on when my hands are freezing off in by a railway station. <laughs> Sexy sadhu, I have everything and nothing. If I was to look back at my life, I would regret nothing. All the choices I've made have le led me to Stockholm, to Sweden. I will not run away to San Marcos to be on the land that I bought, eating my avocados and building my empire there. No. I will not be in Arambol, building my temples and creating amazing uh, play parties and experiences with all my tantric family. No. I will not be in Koh Phangan. Oh, shit. Sorry. I will not be in Tantra Island. I, I never said Koh Phangan. <laughs> it's a secret. I never, I won't be in Tantra Island uh, because I will be here. To find out more, subscribe below. And this is probably going to be the last Diaries of a Sacred Sexual Jedi, I reckon, because I'm going to start doing a shit ton of content. Like, I want to be a content creator. If I could get 38.8 million views worldwide on other people's channels, I want to get my own. <laughs> so please do sign up to my online course, The School of Self Love, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Instagram's actually got like a chronological order of all the hilarious things that have happened in my life. So thank you, I love you, and I set you free. Mwah.